This is Isu Tuan. We're back with another fun recipe. Today we're making baked smoked turkey legs. This is going to be easy, fun, and you're not going to be in the kitchen all day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and we're going to get right into this fun, easy recipe. And look, we're using that Lord have mercy, better than barbecue sauce for this recipe as well. All right, so let's go right into it. So first we're going to start off with one stick of softened butter and with that we are going to add two tablespoons of minced garlic. Now listen, for all of the ingredients I'm going to have that in the description for you and on the screen. So look, no excuses this time. One tablespoon of smoked paprika, you're going to go ahead and add that for some color. Smoked paprika is the best actually, so if you can get it in your local grocery store, definitely grab it. Then you're going to do one tablespoon of Sanzon Complete. You're going to go ahead and mix that in to that softened butter. Then you're going to go ahead and add one tablespoon of Italian seasoning as well. And again, you want to make sure you add all of the ingredients to the softened butter before you do anything else. Alright, then we're going to go ahead and hit it with one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of pepper. Alright, once you go ahead and add that, the last thing we're going to go ahead and add, we have one tablespoon of onion powder and then one tablespoon of garlic powder. You know, that's my go-to. So at that point, you want to go ahead and stir to combine. And this is going to make a paste-like consistency. So it's important to make sure that the butter is softened. Not having softened or room temperature butter will be difficult for this recipe, okay? So you want to go ahead and mix just like that. All right, now once you get the consistency like a paste, a paste consistency like I mentioned earlier, you wanna go ahead and take your smoked turkey legs. And again, I got these smoked turkey legs on the grocery store already smoked, okay? Well, I understand everyone doesn't have a smoker at home, so bomb smoke. You wanna make sure everything is coated perfectly just like that. Take your time with it, make sure every nook and cranny is covered in that butter and seasoned paste that we made from scratch all right and add a little bit more to your liking all right once we get everything nice and coated so again we have our pre-smoked turkey legs we coated it in that paste that we made now we're going to go ahead and wrap it up now this is important because we're going to put this in the oven later so we're going to make sure everything's completely sealed because not only is that butter going to add flavor but wrapping it up in aluminum foil, front and back, all over, is going to ensure that the steam and the heat cooks and tenderize that meat. So that's so important, okay? Again, that's tip 101. Listen to Ito Tuan. I'm telling you, you're not going to steer you in the wrong direction. Wrap it up. You want to make sure it's nice and coated with the aluminum foil. Look, I'm for extra level of protection I want to make sure there's no cracks in the aluminum foil nothing's going to leak out and this is going to have the turkey leg delicious and awesome at the end okay go ahead and get your baking dish a glass baking dish is what I had available so I went ahead and took that glass baking dish and I basically went in it um, here and put the turkey legs in there we're going to bake those for 350 for four hours I know four hours but listen I'm telling you it's going to be so worth it four hours is what you do look while you're here like this video subscribe to my channel and we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven Now, folks, this is the end result. Look at that. When you take that lemon full off, let me tell you something. When that steam and that the smell of that meat hits you, look, it's falling off the bone as I'm picking it up. I had to be careful. You know, I needed a good old picture for the gram. So, look, fall off the bone. It's amazing. Juicy, tender. That's what you want. I know it's four hours, but I'm telling you, it's so worth it. So here's the second one. You, you know I made two. I always make extra. This second one, it looks even better. Look, the skin is still intact, but when you move it, it just starts falling all over the place. <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. I know y'all ready to dig in. What y'all think of this? Y'all got to let me know. Oh, look, I can't forget. I use that Lord Have Mercy Better Than Barbecue Sauce as a dip for it. Again, you can pour it on top of your turkey um, legs after it's done, or you can just use it as a dip as I'm doing. 
I wanted to keep it intact with my picture. But look, I want to make sure that sauce is all over everything. Thumbs up. Look, I appreciate y'all being here. This is great. As you can see, the end result, that was awesome. This is Eats with Tawn, and I catch you guys in the next video.